<laughs> well, here come the rains, part two. <laughs> they don't call this the monsoon season for no reason. <laughs> And it decided that uh, he just had to go outside and go potty, even though it's pouring down rain. And so now he's paying the price. Hey, come here. Don't get up on the bed. <laughs> he's, he's trying to wipe on everything. Get down. Oh, you got to get up there. Well, all right. I got a dog blanket on the sofa, so I can always take that off and wash it. <laughs> Bandit, get down. <laughs> hey, get off the bed. Come here. <laughs> Are you crazy, boy? Yeah, Papa, I don't know what I'm doing, but but I, I just got to get some of this wet off of me. It's, it's, oh, I'm so tired now. It just wears me out shaking all that water off, Papa. <laughs> the thunder and lightning has been so loud that... Uh, Bandit jumped right up into my lap just about here. What's going on out there? Hey, Papa, I'm just a little bit scared. Uh, can you make it all go away? No, I can't make it go away, but it will go away eventually. Well, here's the papa, <laughs> all bundled up against the, the rain, although uh, it's slowed down a little bit now. Everything is just really flooded out. But over here on this end of uh, the area where I'm parked at Slab City is a uh, pretty significant wash. I want to go down and see if uh, the water's flowing. So come on, let's go see. <laughs> Well, the ground is kind of a mess right here by the wash. And uh, I'm uh, sinking down in it. Unless I uh, pay real close attention to where I'm putting my feet. But uh, we got water flowing out here. Whoa! <laughs> I almost slipped on my butt right there. Ooh, I'm not getting too close to the edge. Uh, that little slip of land over there looks a little more, looks a little less waterlogged. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is a, holy smoke. Look at the side of that cliff falling in right there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get too close to the edge. Wow. It's uh, coming down uh, fast and furious. I guarantee you that. Well, it was just a couple hours ago that I was down here, and this was just totally dry. And I was beginning to wonder if uh, this whole idea of washes in the desert was a myth. I knew it wasn't, but I just couldn't find any evidence of it. Because I've been through a couple of rainstorms this uh, spring and I haven't seen anything like this in fact I've seen no water running at all <laughs> but this is uh, this is something else right here 
I'm uh, I'm fairly impressed. Wow, there goes some lightning. Off that way, might hear some uh, thunder in a moment. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Never seen anything like this. I'm gonna walk, uh, I'm gonna walk upstream just a bit. Well, now I'm up on top of a little ridge right here by the wash, about uh, 50 yards upstream from where I was just a minute ago. And uh, right below me here is this uh, cliff where part of it fell away, eroded, uh, the water just eroded out from under it, and it crashed down into the stream just a minute ago. This is definitely... Definitely interesting. Well, that's a lot of volume of water coming down there. Based on uh, what it looks like now and what it looked like when I was down here and it was dry. Wish I'd have shot some clips of it when it was dry. But I'd say that uh, the height of the water right here is probably about uh, 24 to 36 inches. Two to three feet. And looking across... from where the water is uh, closest to the bank here all the way across to where the water is flowing up against the bank over there I'd say it's 50 yards a good 50 yards wide it's a pretty significant flow of water so I'm uh, Maybe two to three hundred yards away, maybe four, maybe three. <laughs> and so um, I'm pretty safe over there, at least from the wash. <laughs> the uh, rain stopped, at least for the moment. And just before the sun sets, it's peeking under the clouds. And it's bright and sunny. Boy, it feels good to see the sun and to feel the sun. Look at those mountains over there. They're lower than the clouds, too, so the sun's really shining off of them brilliantly. And what a contrast, the tops of those mountains and then the dark, dark rain clouds up there. That's uh, a gorgeous sight. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's a real contrast to what we've been going through. Look at the puddles on the ground. Lingering testimony to the challenges of the last few hours. Oh, look at that fireball in the sky. I haven't seen that for a while. <laughs> wow. Well, let's hope the rain clouds go away and uh, let's hope the sun comes out and it warms up. It's only about uh, 55 degrees or so. And uh, I got some things that I got to do, and I need to get the Millennium Falcon into town and get some gas and get some propane. But 
uh, I got to do some things first and I can't really get those done while it's raining like crazy so let's hope and pray for some dry weather here <laughs> Isn't that amazing over there? Those mountains are just standing out in stark contrast to those rain clouds, which still raining up there in the mountains. <laughs> 